Hi, in the previous tutorial, we got our tank tracks moving just like this. So here we go, back and forth, back and forth. And now what we need to do is get this suspension bumping up and down. Straight forward. The other thing we want to do is uh, make the wheels turn. So what I could do is there, and that's just um, first. Let's get this drive wheels turning. So go into your tank blueprint that we created last time. Actually, we didn't create this. This has uh, already been made as part of the Opera Industries dental project. All we need to do is tell the All we need to do is tell the vehicle setup where to find our wheels. So I will do that. I will add four more wheels. Four. Okay. And just do what we did last time. Pull this out. Pull this out. Go into your skeletal mesh, skeletal tree. Find the proper wheel bonding. In this case, uh, wheel one. Left wheel one is this front. Uh, you can see it right in here. This front wheel. And wheel nine is this back cog drive wheel. So what I could do is just right click, copy, select the bow name. And I'm going to just control V. That's the left side. And then the right side is here. Copy control V. And then for the other wheels, it's nine. So left no nine joint. And right wheel line joints. One last thing before this is done. Make sure to change this vehicle wheel to change it to the EP generic tank drive wheel. For all of four of those. Just ensures that those wheels are fixed and don't bump along with the, the uh, suspension. Okay, compile, save that, close all these windows. Okay, so that got our drive wheels going. Drive wheels should move fine now. Play tested it out real quick. Something in this stuff. Oh. It's terrible. Let's go with all of this. Oh, here we go. Spelled it wrong. Spelling very important. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. So it won't be readily apparent that the dry wheels are are activated, but it's going to help when we create our animation. So go to add animation, animation blueprint, a very important vehicle and an instance it has to be a vehicle and then use your skeletal mesh that's We've altered. Okay, it's going to need it. Just keep it called in a blueprint. Load that up. Okay, it's a blank blueprint. Start off mesh, mesh space reference pose. Okay. Now we want to go to the wheel handler. For a wheel vehicle. Okay, now here's where the magic happens. Go to phone controller, phone trigger controller. Okay. Now we're going to plug in the wheel when the uh, Wheel loops, track will move along with it. So we go left, left, wheel to source component. We're going to translate up and down Z. Destination is bone. The target ball is going to be called left foot to track translation Z. Okay. Now we're doing that for every single one of these bouncy wheels. So all six on each side. And we go through and do that for every single one. All the left side. Yeah, the right side. Right, pick them all up. And into the end. File. No errors, which is good. Okay, let's try this out. Press play. Nothing happens. That's because We need to make sure that under our mesh component, under the tank footprint, in class is selected as our name of our file. Maybe we should have named it something better. It's called new edit footprint. Okay, press play. Okay. 
Okay, press play. Okay, let's see what's going to happen. Tires move. Everything works. Let's try some bumps. Bumps seem to be bumping. Okay, now from here, it's uh, just kind of a simple matter of doing, well, simple, but uh, it's a matter of tweaking to make sure this looks really good. And the sky's the limit. All these vigilante tanks work the, pretty much the exact same way. Just be really careful about the naming and spelling of your bone names.